Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful hat using the herringbone single crochet stitch. It's absolutely beautiful and perfect for hats. Stay tuned, I'm working on the adult version. This little hat is for three to six months, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a preemie size and up to an adult extra large size. In this tutorial, I'm going to provide you with um, standard size hat measurements so that you can make your hat for any size, any age, and use any yarn weight with any hook size. To make my little hat here for three to six months, I used this medium number four yarn. You're going to need about 50 grams for the three to six months size. Um, this stitch is absolutely beautiful. It's perfect for hats. And like I said, stay tuned for the adult version. I'll go ahead and show you that in another tutorial. Now, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let's get started, and thank you so much for watching. To make this hat, I'll be using this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this medium number four yarn. You can also use any 10 ply or Aran weight yarn. And actually, you can use any yarn weight with any hook size because we're going to be making this hat using standard hat size measurements. Now, these are the measurements that we're going to need. First, we're going to need the total length, and then we're going to need the head circumference. So if you want to take a screenshot of this, these are the two measurements that we're going to need. Now, I'm going to be making the three to six month size. So according to this, the total length is about six inches. So what I have done here with my chain is I have chained 34 chains, and this here is measuring about eight inches. To the six inches here, I added an extra two inch, and that is for the brim. If you want a wider brim, then go ahead and add two and a half inches, three inches more, that would be up to you. The important thing is to remember to whatever measurement um, you have here for whatever size that you're making, add an extra two inch or more if you want a wider brim. So here to begin, like I said, I have 34 chains and this here is measuring about eight inches. To begin into the second chain from the hook right here, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next and so on. This is how I'm going to continue for this first row, just making one single crochet on each chain. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 33 single crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of the first row. I have a total of 33 single crochets. Now for the second row, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. Now beginning, into this first single crochet, make a single crochet. Now into each one of the remaining single crochets, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to this first single crochet that I did and to the side, I'm going to insert my hook and then go into the next single crochet through both loops and I'm going to grab a loop. Now make sure to pull this loop nice and long and now we're going to close through these three loops. This here is the single crochet herringbone stitch. Let me show you again. We go back to the last stitch that we made, right to the side, insert your hook, and into the next single crochet through both loops. You're going to grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Again, insert your hook back into the last stitch that you did to the side there, and into the next single crochet, and grab a loop, three loops, close. Make sure that you pull the last loop nice and long. Again, insert your hook to the side of the last stitch, into the next single crochet, grab a loop, and close. And that's all I'm going to do here for this second row. The single crochet herringbone stitch. Continue like this to the end of this second row. I'll meet you there. I'm here at the end of the second row. I have a total of 33 stitches. Now for the third row, I'm going to chain one and turn. Now for this stitch pattern, we have to repeat two rows, the second row and the third row. So let me show you the third row. Here for the third row, we're going to work everything in reverse. So first we're going to make the single crochet here at the beginning but we're going to make a reverse single crochet. So what you do is bring the hook right behind the yarn and insert your hook 
into the first stitch. Grab a loop and close. Here's the reversed single crochet. Now I'm going to make the first herringbone stitch, but this is a reversed herringbone stitch. So you're going to go to the back here of the single crochet that you did and you see this bar right there. Insert your hook, making sure that the yarn is in front of the hook and go into the next stitch. So right here, we're going to be inserting our hook through both loops of each one of these stitches, but through the back. Make sure the yarn is in front. I almost did it the other way. So insert your hook and grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Let me show you again. I have the reverse single crochet here at the beginning. Go to the back, right there to the side you see that bar, and go into the next stitch and you're going to insert your hook through both loops and you're going to grab a loop pull it through, make sure these loops are nice and loose, and you're going to close. Again, you're going to work a reverse herringbone stitch, so go back to the last stitch and to the side, you see that, that bar right there? Insert your hook, and into the next stitch, grab a loop, and close. Again, Go back to the last stitch, through the back and into the next stitch, grab a loop, three loops, close. Make sure that these loops are nice and loose so that your stitch has a nice definition there. Once you get the hang of it, you can go faster. Remember that you can slow the video player if this is too fast for you. And that's how we're going to work this third row. And from here on, you just repeat these two rows over and, o and over. Here, I have to go back and undo the stitch. Let's see. Make sure to go through all of the plies. And let me show you how it looks. So this is how it looks from this side. So this would be the, the wrong side and this is going to be the right side. Look how beautiful that stitch definition. That's the herringbone stitch right there. Now continue like this for this third row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 33 stitches. Now for the fourth row, I'm going to chain one and turn. Now, like I said, from here on, these are the two rows that we're going to repeat the second row and the third row. So for the fourth row, I'm going to repeat the same thing I did in the second row. So here to begin, I'm going to start with a single crochet into the first stitch. Now insert your hook to the side of the single crochet and into the next stitch through both loops, insert your hook, grab a loop, three loops, close. Now insert your hook to the side of the last stitch and into the next stitch, grab a loop, three loops, close. And this is how we're going to continue for this fourth row. I think this row here is much easier. It's not in reverse, but once you get the hang of the third row, it's easy as well. So this is how you're going to continue for the fourth row. I will meet you at the end to show you once again how to start and how to finish each row from here on since you're going to continue and finish the rest.
I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have 33 stitches. Now here at the end, make sure that you go through this last stitch. Do not miss this stitch here at the end. Make sure that you always have the same number of stitches. Now for the fifth row, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. In this row, I'm going to repeat the same thing I did in the third row, which is the row where we do everything in reverse. Now in this row, I need to start with a single crochet, but I need to do this all in reverse. So insert your hook, making sure that the yarn is right in front of the hook and insert your hook through the back of the first stitch, grab a loop, two loops on the hook, close. Now through the back of this single crochet, insert your hook into that stitch right there and through the back of the next stitch, insert your hook and grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. And that's how we're going to continue for this fifth row, which is the same thing we did in the third row. All of these stitches here are in reverse. so. Start with a reverse single crochet and then a reverse single crochet herringbone stitch. And that's how we're going to continue for the rest of the hat, just repeating these two rows until you have the measurement for the head circumference. Here you're going to finish, chain one turn, and then repeat the same thing we did in the last row. And you're going to continue and make rows until you have the measurement for the head circumference. For me, I'm making the three to six month size, so I'm going to make sure that my hat measures within these measurements here, 14 to 15 inches. Um, if you want to just try this around the head, make sure it's nice and snug, it's not too tight. You can do that as well. And the same thing here for the length. All you have to do is just measure it from the top of the head down to above the ear. And if you want to add a couple inches for the brim, you can do that as well. Um, you don't have to go with these measurements here. So continue and make more rows. Just repeat these last two rows that I showed you. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do for my little hat here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this part here. I have the measurement that I need for the size that I'm making. I did a total of 40 rows. Now, as it is, it's measuring about 36 centimeters, which is about 14.25 inches. So it's within the measurements that I need this to be for three to six months. It needs to be between 14 and 15 inches. Mine is measuring a little bit over 14 inches, so it's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to join both ends. So we're going to put these two ends together like this. This here is the wrong side and this here is the right side. So we're going to join from the wrong side. Now I'm going to be using this hook. It's the same size. I just couldn't find the other hook. Here, what I'm going to do is, this here is the row of single crochets that we did. That's the first row. So I'm going to go here to the very first stitch on the left side. I'm going to grab a loop here. This is the last stitch that I did, row 40. Bring it through, chain one, and now we're going to turn here. To do this part here, I'm going to go into this first stitch. This is actually the last stitch that I did uh, for row 40. So insert your hook through both loops. This stitch here has, let's see, one, two, three loops. We have the two top loops and we have a loop here to the side. Don't go through these two here. Just go through the two that are on top. That way this line here, this line here remains like this. So insert your hook through both loops of the first stitch, which is the last stitch I did for row 40, and go back through the first space here, the, the chain spaces, so these stitches here along the very edge. These are chains that remained when we did the first row of single crochets. So there you're going to grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Now go through the next two loops of the next stitch like this and into the next stitch here at the top. These are the chains again into the next grab a loop and make a slip stitch into the next stitch through both loops 
and into the next stitch here in the back grab a loop and make a slip stitch this is how we're going to join both ends so continue finish this part and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to close the top of the hat I finished joining both ends this is how it looks here on this side after I finish I'll show you how it looks on the other side so here what I'm going to do next is I'm going to chain one and right along the very edge here we're going to go all around and make single crochets now these single crochets I'm going to go into this row here so the first one I'm going to do a single crochet right here I'm going to skip this and I'm going to go into the next uh, row so right here and make a single crochet right on top skip this one and right on top make a single crochet of the next skip this row and right on top of the next make a single crochet so let me show you I'm going to make a single crochet right here right next to where I did the last slip stitch now I'm going to skip this next row and into the next right on top along the very edge I'm going to make a single crochet skip the next row here and right on top along the very edge of the next row make a single crochet skip this row and into the next make a single crochet skip this row and into the next make a single crochet and this is how I'm going to continue all around the top just making single crochets now there is no right or wrong way of doing this part here all I want to do here is just have a couple of single crochets so that when I finish this part here I can just close the top of the hat continue like this all around I will meet you here at this other end to show you how we're going to close the top of the hat I finished this row of single crochets all around I have 21 if you have one or two stitches less or more it's okay um, here to finish I'm just going to go on top of the first single crochet and I'm going to join with a slip stitch I forgot to mention when we started this row here that all of this is being done on the wrong side we're going to turn this over and I'm going to show you how it looks once we turn it over so here I joined now grab a loop and pull this loop like this and tie a knot now cut your yarn leave a nice long tail here and with a yarn needle here just pass this through and just go in through one skip one stitch and into the next skip one stitch and into the next insert the needle and so on now pull your yarn and that's going to close the top of the hat and with this loop that we left here we just tie a knot like this tie to your ends and turn it over and here's the top of the hat and the hat is all done and this is how it looks here's where we joined now I'm going to turn this like this and I'm going to try this on my little model see how it looks here's the top now her head circumference is for a three to six month size so our hat is for three to six months so let's see how it fits on her there it's perfect there's the little hat and that's the top it's all finished I absolutely love this stitch here it's so warm as you can see it's nice and thick perfect for winter hats and there it is I'm going to go ahead and make a hat for myself for adult size so I'll go ahead and have another tutorial for this so stay tuned for that here's the herringbone single crochet stitch absolutely beautiful and remember that you can make this hat for any size any age and you can use any yarn weight with any hook size I would just use the recommended hook size for the yarn that you're using and here are the measurements that you can use to make your hat from a preemie size and up to an adult extra large size so these are the two measurements that we're going to need 
Okay, so this little hat is done. That's how it looks. I hope you like it. Here's the back side. That's where we joined. It looks pretty good. So it's all done. So this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.